Okay, we have a lot to do today. So I really like this C Ferulic by, um, is it Skin Suticles or Spa Medica? Shit, I don't know because I put it in another little travel container. It's one of the two. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship. The love is that I know that it protects me from the elements out in New York City during the day. The hate is that I think I have to wait for 30 seconds before the next application. It's time. And then the discoloration defense, I find it a must. You know, I like, I use different things when I'm traveling because they're already in my travel bags. But this discoloration defense by SkinCeuticals, I tend to take everywhere because it helps with the brown spots, like immensely. Okay, I gotta let it try again. My hair is really, really dirty right now. I'm gonna let it just stay in its little rat's nest today. And then I'll wash it tomorrow because I'm traveling to Montreal. And uh, then I won't have to wash it the whole time I'm there. Hoorah. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this dose of wisdom serum by Philosophy uh, for the moment. I forgot my Trini Bab dies, but this is excellent as well. Okay, toast just dinged. Hot, 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 hot. Shit. Whatever, five second rule, right? I don't know what is going on with my palms. I'm so itchy. This is like an allergy, I think. I think this is an allergy. If anybody knows, please let me know. Maybe it's because I'm eating too many tomatoes. That's another obsession lately. I'm eating at, at least one or two tomatoes a day and my palms are itchy. Okay, we'll do a little peely on the side. I don't have time for this, I really don't. blueberries it's the color right as long as your plate has a lot of color on it then i think you're good it's missing the cottage cheese but you know what i'm saying mm. that's by 06 18. i think we're good this is the worst like i don't want to try bad dairy i really don't it says it's okay it's fine is it fine It's fine. So my mother can attest to the fact that since I was a child, I can't eat a thing on my plate until absolutely everything is good to go and looks pretty. Like now, I'm ready for breakfast. So there's no TV in this apartment other than the bedroom. And I'm the type of person who like needs the drone of the news behind me at all times, which is crazy. I really should stop that because it's only bringing me more anxiety at the moment. But right now with the two screens, I feel like I'm, I'm mission control here. prep all my vitamins the night before so I'm good to go so I just ate bottoms up okay let's get dressed okay I really don't have a lot of time for fuss today so I'm doing a very natural I just ate that a very natural um sort of skin showing through. I'm loving the no makeup makeup look right now. So that's what I'm doing very, very quickly. I have Say on as my BB cream, CC cream. I don't know what it is. My dark circles are not good lately. I'm going to try this Jones Road the neutralizer pencil. That's what they told me to use, the neutralizer. Oh my God. There we go. I really need to get a brush to put this on. She told me that it's good with a brush, so I shall try it. She's good with a brush. I think that getting older has so many blessings because you start realizing that nobody really thinks about you. They're too busy thinking about themselves. So all that shit about measuring up to other people it dissipates. It seems to go bye-bye. Wow, that's way better. Hey, wait, where's the cap? The bad thing about getting older is that, yeah, you can't see a damn thing without this apparatus on your face. She told me to just sort of 
add this concealer stick into the areas that are extra issued, as one may say. More of an issue maybe, is that the better term for it? For me, it's always around my nose because of my allergies and around my lower chin because that's where I had seriously problemed skin for many, many years. I'm peeling a little bit over here. Uh, I started using Retin-A and lo and behold, I never stopped peeling. Do we ever stop peeling from Retin-A? Quite obsessed with Laura Geller's color here in, what is this? I don't know what it is. Hold on, I have to put my glasses on. But I like it because it's just, it's the no makeup makeup look I'm going for right now. Why is my light not on? Shit, my light died. I need to charge the light. So I'm just circling the whole thing because it gives a little bit of definition to the eye without a harsh line for the daytime au naturel look. Oh yeah, the color. What was the color? The color is khaki, khaki coal. Love it. Charlotte Tilbury, this Marie Antoinette color. Love, love, love. I think it's called Marie Antoinette. It, they changed the name halfway through. But see, there's just a little more, a little more light on the inside of the eye. Where's my mascara? Dior, uh, is it Dior? Is it Lancome or Dior? It's Dior Show uh, Primer Mascara. I've been using it for years. It's the primer and I don't know what it does, but my uh, mascara goes on smoother. And then my OG Lancome Doll. I used to put my mascara on really, really thick and separated, a la, I guess, Tammy, what was her name? Tammy, shit. I don't remember her name. Tammy Baker. Tammy Baker. Well, at least that's what I looked like in the 80s. And I would take, uh, oh, look what I did. I would take a um, safety pin, thank you very much, and separate. And I still have them in my bag because habits are very hard to break. But I'm trying to embrace a lighter mascara look, primarily because I don't have the fucking time. I don't have the goddamn time anymore to be perfect or to think, to think in my head that I need to look perfect. And I don't necessarily think that look is perfect anyway, but I did back in the day. Okay, I have got so much mascara all over me. I'm gonna have to go over with the liner again. I keep toggling back and forth because I need my magnifying mirror to apply and I need my regular mirror to see what I actually like am looking like. It's a little diffused and fuzzy. So that's like my, that's my filter. And both of them are just Okay, okay, okay. So I use these, I get them on Amazon there. I think for when you're applying lash extensions, but I use them to correct my faux pas because uh, I make a lot of mascara errors when I put it on. And if I use a Q-tip, I'll just get fluff in my eye. See, now I have to use the corrector, the pencil again. So now I'm going by the hand that I'm at. I'm going to open the eye with a little bit of nude stick bright eye. Western Atelier, a little sculpting situation. You know, I feel badly. Jones Road sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I'm not using it right now. I just used the concealer, mind you. I just did that. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna forget to do the nose. The nose, it's always a question. Like the last thing you want is to leave the house with two brown lines down your nose, right? <laughs> My hair is fucking driving me crazy. Okay, we need some blush. And now I shall break in a little bit of what they recently recommended, Miracle Balm in Miami. Isn't that pretty? Miami Beach, I think it's called. Oh, I'm doing it like this because I got goop all over my fingers over here. Although she did say you have to warm it up too late. I keep saying she, her name was Jazz. She was very lovely. Okay, I don't have much time for more. Let me somewhat set 
with my, again, I need to get another um, bronzer. Ah, excuse me. Another powdered bronzer brush because the one that I have is way too fluffy. I'm just letting everything set with a little bit of Westman Atelier. I should not have put it on the chin. You should always do bronzer from your cheeks up, not down. Done, done, done. And now I'm gonna use the same brush because I can't find another one for a little bit of iridescent setting powder, more in the middle, and I really need to put some under my eyes because I do tend to get wrinkly sort of concealer craggles in there. Oh, there's the brush. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. It's Westman Atelier because uh, it's less of a perfect application when you're rushing and the color is gorgeous. And I, it's, I just, it's just a fluffy thing, right? I do, I really do actually like the John's Red one I just got, but it's, it's like more of a pointy uh, pencil like the concealer and I'm a little afraid of it. I'll get there. It's perfect for night. I mean, a brow really does make a huge, huge difference. You know what else makes the biggest difference? Hourglass. I think it's called 1.25 millimeter. Black obsidian liner on the inside, OMG. Thrive Gislin. It's the best. For me, it's the best. And is this the Peach Bellini by Laura Geller? Yes, it is. She does the best lipsticks. This liner is definitely too heavy for this lipstick, but I like it. It gives me a little more definition. I'm not so much a nude lip girl, and lately I've been really diving into this, and I love it. Oh, look how nicely it goes with the peach cheek. I'm talking too much, I gotta go. <laughs> I lost my fucking wallet. Excuse my French again. That's the worst, right? When you have an appointment and you lose your wallet three minutes before uh, you're supposed to leave. <laughs> so I can't, couldn't show you my look. I'll show you later, whatever. I am on my way to my meeting. Hopefully she's there and doesn't hate me. I hate that. I hate when I'm late. I s apologize in advance and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, that meeting is down, went well, and she totally understood. About me losing my wallet. I swear, I don't know, I'm, I'm not that person. I am a very organized person. I don't know what it is lately. Maybe it's because I have too many sling bags on me, but it was in one of them and it took me about six tries to find out which one. So that sucks. Okay, I just found out I have to go running to UPS to pick up some um, stuff for work. And I also completely forgot my bag returns that I needed to do that. So that kind of sucks. So I'm in the middle of Soho and I have to turn around now. Where am I? And I want to do one thing. I want to try on one dress I've been looking at at Max Mara just to get a feel for it. And then I have to run back to the house and do some more work. This is the one I've been coveting. Now, I know you're going to laugh at me because you've probably seen 25 of these in my closet. It's a silhouette I gravitate towards quite a bit. This is a stunning Max Mara, and there's a few reasons why I'm really considering her. The farther back I go, I start going into the dressing room so you can't see, but it's a very, very classic style. This has a very Aussie Clark cut. Ozzy Clark was a very famous designer in London during the swinging 60s, same era as Biba and Mary Quant, but he did a lot of these bell sleeve, deep neck, somewhat 70s flowy type of looks, and I think this one's very reminiscent. She ain't cheap, but Max Mara never is, just saying, but because she's 100% silk, probably, I don't know, I haven't checked, close to it, and she has a lot of busy patterns in both the black and the white. Even if I spill a little mustard on her, I'm not gonna kill her. So she's in the running. I definitely need a size four and not a size two. I can get away with a size two, but I find that if you're in the middle of sizing and you can either look a little more form-fitting 
in a smaller size or a little more ethereal in the larger size it's always more chic to go the ethereal route so i don't know guys you tell me what do you think now i gotta run to ubs mm. okay can't see my legs that sucks wait a second now you can only see my legs <laughs> i don't know what to do okay wait 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 there do you see me Okay, you can sort of see me. Today I am wearing my Rick Owens Lily's little sundress that works with everything. Rick Owens, please make these again. I'm wearing my forever and always emerald green sling bag and it's very simple with my little, oh look, I'm wearing Rick Owens Burks. Didn't notice that. A little bobblicious. And it looks like it might rain, so just in case, I brought an oversized Dries Van Noten jean jacket. So uh, if there's a downpour, I'm somewhat covered. Okay, let's go pick up UPS. Shockingly made it back just in time. Everything's coming off. This is how I roll, you see. When I get back from wherever I'm going, all my clothes come off, I put on my bathrobe, I wash my face, and I start my meetings. I mean, really, I'm in my pajamas so much during meetings. You think that Hugh Hefner and I would be very good friends. Anyway, I hope I didn't bore you too much with my day in the life, but this is it, at least in New York. And yeah, I don't even know how to close this thing, so bye. Have a good day.